we're going to be talking about marshalling structs to and from C++ and C Sharp. We've already talked about marshalling primitives and marshalling strings, but now we're going to take it a step further. If you haven't watched the previous tutorials, I suggest you watch them so you understand how to set up the project and understand some basic marshalling. But anyways, for this demonstration, I just have this struct in C++ for a shoe, and it has actually some business logic on it, so it has this buy method, which does some pretty complex things inside, such as, well, just printing some values to the console. But, I don't want to replicate this in my c -sharp project, I just want to be able to call this method on the shoe, be able to marshal all of this information, and then call this method. That being said, the first thing we need to do is replicate this struct layout in C Sharp so that we have a way to send all of this data down to C++. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new item in our console, C Sharp application, and we're just going to call it shoe. And instead of a class, we're going to make it a struct. And one thing we need to do right off the bat is put this little decorator up here for struct layout and we're gonna set the struct layout first thing we need to do is import interrupt services we're gonna set the struct layout as sequential and what this means is that when we define fields in the struct the order of the fields needs to match this order that we have defined in our C++ application so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy these and I'm gonna paste them like that so that we guarantee to get the order right and I'm gonna go ahead and make everything public and one thing we note is that a B string is not a C sharp type but a B string can map to a string in C sharp but if we remember the last episode we had we talked about marshalling strings and a B string marshals to a string as long as we decorate this field and tell the marshaller to marshal the B string as a B string to a string. So we need to have this decorator up here so that it knows what to do when we pass that to and from C++ and C Sharp. So now we have our struct laid out. Now we're ready to do some P invoke magic. So let's go back to our shoe.cpp and let's create some methods that we can p invoke into and pass our C sharp struct into so that we can call all of this all of these methods as well. So of course we need to label these as x turn C so that the function name does not get mangled when we compile. And then we need to declare the specifier as a DLL export so that we can p invoke into it from C sharp. And then we just need to define the method. So the first thing we're gonna do is well this is just going to be a void and we're just going to call it by shoe and what it's going to do is it's going to take in a shoe that we want to buy so we take in the shoe and then all we're going to do is call shoe dot buy and that should call this method print out everything that we need so now let's go ahead and define this method in our program.cs so that we can call it. So this is going to be, I'm actually just going to copy all of this. So we don't have a return type, but we are calling this DLL. And it's going to be a void method, and it's going to be called by shoe. And all it's going to do is take in that shoe struct that we created right here. And one thing to note is that this method signature completely matches this method signature. And now we are ready to try this out. So let's go ahead and create a new shoe. And let's go ahead and do that. And I think we can just set everything in like a property initializer. So we'll say the ID equals one, the brand equals Nike, the color equals do red and the size equals 11 and now all we're going to do is p invoke into that method that we just defined in C++ 
and we're gonna pass in our new shoe and let's make sure everything should work it's looking pretty good and let's give this a shot and there we go we successfully purchased the red Nike shoe as we have defined right there so all is good we are P invoking in we are sending this new shoe into our method and that is step one but what about getting a shoe back from C++ how can we do that and it's actually very simple so let's define a new method here and this will be the same thing x turn C declare a specifier declare it as DLL export and we're just gonna return a shoe and we'll call this create shoe and we'll also take in the users shoe size just for an example so all that we're gonna do is create a new shoe Oh, we don't need new because we're just gonna return this shoe and it'll get copied back to C sharp and let's define all of this stuff so we'll say the ID equals 2 and we'll say the size equals the shoe size that gets passed in and then we need to specify the brand we'll say this one is Adidas and then we need to specify the color as well we'll say these are blue but of course we're dealing with B strings here mostly because they're easy to marshal back and forth so we need to convert this constar array into a B string so to do that we can call sys alex string and then make it a wide string to pass into the sys alex string and that's all we gotta do we'll do the same thing for our color as well and there we go and now we are ready to just return the new shoe so now let's go back to our program.cs and first thing we need to do is import that create shoe method I think I called it create shoe yep so create shoe it's gonna return a shoe and it's gonna take in a shoe size so now instead of just newing up a shoe right here we're just gonna call create shoe and pass in a shoe size and let's put a breakpoint right here so that we can see the shoe that we create so we create the shoe in C++ we get all of these properties back all of these field values and then we buy the shoe and all is good successfully purchased the blue adidas shoe so that is marshalling structs we even made it a little bit complex by doing some strings and things and we showed how you can marshal those back and forth so all you have to do is if you have a C++ struct you just have to replicate the data within that struct in C sharp and then you can simply pass it in the methods that you export and even return it for methods that you export anyways that's gonna wrap it up for this episode I hope you guys learned something about P invoke and can implement this in your own applications if you need to if you have any questions criticisms or comments be sure to leave them below in the comment section but other than that if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like or subscribe for more thank you